In the context of raising awareness about the dangers of cancer and the importance of early detection and its role in improving the chances of recovery from this deadly disease, the National Cancer Control Foundation in Aden organized the charity exhibition for women fighters and cancer survivors. This report has more details. Zikra Jassour is one of the survivors of cancer disease. Going back to 12 years ago, her life entered into a bitter struggle with this insidious disease that disturbed her life, but she continued to fight it without giving up. I was diagnosed with breast cancer disease 12 years ago, and after three years it spread to both breasts. I had a surgery to remove all the breast tissue. But the disease kept spreading to my leg glands, lungs, trachea, and my back. I was having one surgery after another. Last one was in 2018, when I removed the ovaries. Thank God now I'm on a biological therapy, after a long and tiring journey with radiation and chemotherapy. Thousands of patients are living their continuous suffering with this malignant cancerous disease, which has robbed them of their joy and smile so that the pain continues and their hope in God remains great. There are many cases and the tragedy is exacerbated by this disease. On the World Cancer Day, the National Foundation for Cancer Control in Aden organized an event within the charity exhibition for cancer survivors. I have breast cancer since 2015. I'm married and have two children. I'd like to thank the National Foundation as they helped us with many things. They provided us with medicines, tests, checkups, and anything else related to our treatment. They provide a great support for the patients psychologically, materially, and spiritually. There have been some hardships. I had a very difficult kind of surgery two years ago, but now it's back again, and I'm on chemotherapy treatment. Thank God for everything. The increasing number of patients with cancer and the recurrence of human tragedies caused by this deadly disease. The National Cancer Control Foundation recently sought to open a specialized center for early detection of the disease and to provide health services to patients free of charge. We had statistics comparing before and after the war. And of course the situation after the war differs. The number of patients increased a lot. Every year, the number of beneficiaries in the foundation increases due to the war, displacement and overcrowding of people in some areas. Here in Aden, the foundation serves four of the neighboring cities. And despite the high increase in the number of patients, we're trying so hard to continue providing support, treatment and awareness to all patients who need it. The aches and pain caused by this malignant disease continue, but with the hope in God, many patients keep facing it with hardness, strength and determination, and they follow all means of preventing the spread of the disease and controlling it until they get healed.